Hi guys, thanks for checking out. So, Tammy, a rough rider. So, if you've seen my earlier video, this has basically just been built, absolute bone stock. So, we have no diff, standard, absolutely everything. Uh, it's got the standard brush silver can in and brushed electrics, standard suspension, which for a car of this age, surprisingly effective um but yeah so revival this year this is my two-wheel drive entry so this is going to be going out i've yet to paint the bodywork but because the weather's absolutely atrocious still so we're just coming out of winter now um so hopefully we're going to start getting some nice weather um but i'm going to make a start on this this weekend so obviously upgrades what have we got? So first thing we've got obviously is the differential set. So your part number 54897. I'm pretty sure these are the part numbers for Tamiya. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, everything's in there that I think we're going to need. There's bearing washers. So that will give us a differential. So that's the first one. Um, Second one, these shocks aren't the best. The front one has pretty much lost all of its oil now. That was just from compressing it. So I've got these, I found these just off eBay. Um, I think they're about 15 quid or something. Um, but yeah, it says that that's what they fit. So there's a longer and a shorter one. It's hard to tell if these come filled with oil, but yeah, I mean, they're not amazing, but they're going to be definitely a lot better than this. It does mean I can do away with the, the torsion bar setup as well. So the spring on the front and on the back. So I don't know if you know these these ones, but basically you've got your torsion bar running all the way across through there. That sits across. So as, as the suspension pushes up, it pushes against that that bar which naturally wants to push this back down so that gives it it's damping very primitive but hey still works on modern cars so we're running it need some tires these will work but i want to try and do as good as i can so we're going to be running schumacher mezzos these are pretty much your go-to tire on astro so we've got the tires got the inserts front we've gone for the classic staggers in yellow obviously they're not going to fit these wheels so we have jc racing components we've got a set of fox wheels in white the paintwork on this should look good with the white wheels if it works out as it does in my head so yeah so we've got the 2.2 JC Racing wheels. The front ones, obviously it's just a bearing that goes through. On the back, it's a bit hard to tell, but obviously these are a hex. This isn't a hex. So another little upgrade. Um, after doing a bit of research, this is what people that run these are running. So they've got the Frog Alloy Wheel Adapters. So that will allow you to run your 12mm hex that'll be able to allow me to run these. So what we're going to do, I'm going to get the diff fitted. I may change the motor. That was the other one. Um, I've got another motor that I can, that can go in, but I may just leave it for now because it means grab it out of another car. And yeah, for now, it'll just be good just to get this up and running. I can give it a quick run if we ever get some nice weather. So yeah, so diff, shocks, wheel adapters, and some better wheels and tyres. So what I'm going to do is I'll uh, get to it, get it all fitted, and if there's anything to let you know about fitting any of these parts, I'll jump back in and give you a shout. But for now, let's get the diff done. All right, so gearbox all off. This is pretty easy to come apart, basically. This whole back end is held on with three screws. All your electrics, 
pretty much just come off in this tub so nice and handy um but yeah the uh the chassis is literally well the back end is literally held under the chassis with the three screws that go through there but uh yeah so we're all pulled apart got the uh gear box out so basically this is what's getting replaced obviously this is just a complete solid shaft so got the ball lift to go on so what i'm going to do get this built up and then we can swap out this bad boy for the diff and then uh, we'll go from there so i'll get it built and we'll jump back in right this is where we're up to so all the back end is up, back up together not got the water in yet but i've put one shock on so they're probably going to be too soft but they do have oil in and i don't know how much travel you had originally but you can see that there's slightly less but droop we're not losing any so that's the main thing it does say in the advert on these that these are slightly shorter but yeah we'll get the other one on we'll get this bolted back together then we'll move on to the front so fitting these shocks absolutely fine um the little metal collet that goes through and then you have the little rubber grommet so i forget one of these so you've got your little metal collet just in there and then the rubber bit all you've got to do is just push that out top and bottom and reuse them on the existing shock so we'll get cracking we'll get the other side done right we are pretty much back there so all the rear suspension has been done we've done the front front was dead easy so top screw out bottom screw out shock out and we've taken out the spring so you have your little springs that sit in the front taking them out with them in it was just very stiff because obviously you've got this kit suspension and you've got this working against it so yeah it does feel very soft but until we get it all built but this isn't going to be an absolute blinder on the track it's just going to make it better and hopefully we can win that final so that's it so what i'll do is i'll get the rest of it all sort of back together and then what we've got left to do fit the wheel adapters wheels and tires on uh this is the motor that i'm wanting to put in i've just tried it but the little cap that goes over the back i need to look into this um it seems to move a little bit in the back there and obviously because nothing holds this in place in there other than the, other than the cap the pinion can sort of like move back onto the back so you can't push this out on the front because you've got little tabs on the inside that the little holes in there go into so i'm thinking some sort of rubber bung a rubber ring just on the back here will push it fully in so i need to play around with that Otherwise, we'll just put the standard motor back in. But let's get cracking. Right, everything's on. So front suspension, it's a bit pogoy, but I don't know what shock oil's in these actual shocks. But I checked one; there is oil in them. So the back, it feels a bit, a bit dead. But there's no battery in this, so basically, there's no point in sorting out suspension but what i will be doing fitting i'm probably going to go for 300 weight oil and then i can start from there see how it is obviously once the battery's in that'll give it its true weight body not painted the body yet obviously i've got to wait until the weather's a bit nicer but uh i've got to get the actual paints to do it as well so that's it all done so were a couple of little issues basically the motor that i've got it's one of the core rc motors and you've basically got this little plastic bit it's not showing up the best there's this little plastic bit there that actually holds the motor in the motor did have a bit of side movement so all i've done i don't know if you're able to see but i've just got some little rubber washers that come with shocks put three of them in and basically now that's in solid um 
the wheels, there's not a lot on the wheel nut. So basically what I'm going to do is basically just take off two or three mil from the actual hub. So once that's off, but obviously none of this is designed for the car. So you can't expect everything just to bolt on work oops sorry work out of the box but yeah so it's just a case of this you've got plenty on there all i'm going to do is just get a, a flat surface and some wet and dry paper and i'm going to take off two or three mil on that that'll basically just allow the wheel to sit further down i'll have more thread for the nut to go on but we're all done so all we've got to do now get those little bits done and then at some point I'll get it out, give it a run, just on the grass. Um, but yeah, revival. Hopefully, should be winning the A final. <laughs> really can't see it with me driving, but yeah, it's it'll make the car a bit more drivable on the track, having the wheels and tires and the suspension. But obviously, we now have a differential. So that's it all. So I'm going to call this one done for now until I get the bodywork done. But it'll probably be at the race that you see this back on again. I don't think I'll do anything else with it. I'm calling this one done. So bodywork painted and then a test drive. That's all it's going to get. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. So... Thanks everyone for watching. Those of you that have subscribed, thanks very much. It does mean a lot to us small channels. And uh, yeah, if you want to see what's next, there's a little clue. I've made a start. If any of you know what this is off, this is the next car that I'm going through, but that'll be my next video. I'm off work for the week. I've had an operation on my knee, so I've got plenty of time to get it done. So thanks everyone. And we'll see you soon.